All right, you guys, welcome to class. My name is Teacher Chad. This hour, we are going to be taking a look at our uh, um, uh, TOEFL, uh, TOEFL questions and in, uh, in practicing uh, answering those questions, OK? Uh, so TOEFL questions, if you've never uh, done this before, we're, we're taking a look at uh, parts one and two. And uh, what we do in the class is you'll, it's a timed, timed uh, session, basically. So you'll, you'll have uh, a, a moment to read the question. You'll have 15 seconds to prepare your, your answer, and then 45 seconds afterwards to then answer the question. Okay, and I've got a, a large list that uh, that uh, we'll we'll be going through here, um, and they they cover a you know different range of uh, of topics. Okay, so it's basically going to be opinion uh, opinion statements or comparing and contrasting or what your thoughts are. Okay, things like that. So that's basically what we're going to be working on. Okay, uh, let's see who we have in class so far. Hi there, Dennis. How you doing? Hey Chad, I'm doing good. What about you? I'm doing well, thank you. Good to have you uh, have you back. How was your weekend? Um, it was pretty good. Uh, the Olympics started, and <laughs> you know it's a great atmosphere in Russia now, so it's it's pretty cool. Yeah, that's awesome. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, are you are you right there in Moscow, or let's see, how far is it in Moscow, or it's in Sochi, or something like that? What's it called? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Sochi. Oh, Sochi. It's yeah, Sochi, Sochi. It's it's a very warm city. It's uh, on the south of Russia. It's near the Black Sea, and the weather there is very good. It's something about I don't know five degrees there uh, on the seashore, and mm -hmm. a little bit of minus, uh, you know, in the mountains. Cool, cool. Mm -hmm. And uh, are you? Are, have you? Uh, uh, gone down there? Or are you going to be going down there for the Olympics? Uh, no, I'm not going there because uh, you know everything. It's it's pretty expensive there, and yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I'm planning to visit the next Olympic Games, which will be abroad, and uh, I think it will be easier for me. <laughs> cool, cool. All right, yeah. man. Well, great. Good to have you here. Hi there, Amparo. Welcome to class. Hi, teacher. Thank you. Well, good to have you back. Nice to see you again. Again. And let's see here, Sim. Hi there, Sim. Hello. Hi. Good to have you back in class. Thank you. Very good. Okay, you guys. Uh, let me get you the uh, the questions. Okay, the link is in the Verbling chat box as well as the Google chat box. Okay, and good. I'm just going to share my screen with you. Um, very nice. Hi there, Zaki. How you doing? Zaki, can you hear me okay? I'm doing great, teacher. How are you? There we go. I'm doing very well. Thank you. How was your weekend? It's awesome. It was awesome. That's great to hear. Very good. All right, excellent, you guys. Okay, so uh, let's go down to um, I think it's page five. Amparo, do you remember exactly where where we left off by chance? I wasn't in the last class. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let me uh, let me run through here real quick. Okay. All right. So let's. Okay, let's uh, let's start on page five. We're going to start with uh, is it negative? Okay, and uh, let's see, Amparo, we're going to start with you on the left hand side today. Okay, all right, uh, go ahead and read number seven here, Amparo. Okay. Hello, can you guys hear me okay? Oh, yes, yes. Okay, good. Some people believe that the Earth is being harmed and damaged by human activity. Others feel that human activity makes the Earth a better place to live. What is your opinion? Use a specific reasons and examples to support your answer. Okay, 15 seconds to prepare. OK. 
Okay. Uh, okay. Go. I agree that uh, uh, the air is being harmed um, by human activity. Um, the, uh, some examples are the lot of industries that uh, don't have conscious about the, the damage that they produce and all the the garbage that they uh, they have they just don't recycle or just uh, uh, throw that garbage in, in the rivers um, uh, the uh, uh, industries uh, that related with oil also have uh, caused uh, damage in the earth that uh, it's irreversible um, that is why I think the, the earth is in damage but human activity okay good good nice job you kind of snuck snuck it in there at the, at the last uh, last part okay <laughs> very nice very nice okay uh, good good structure okay um, uh, pretty good uh, uh, pronunciations okay I want to take a look at um, some grammar here okay so um, first up they you said they just throw that garbage in the rivers Okay, so here instead of saying that garbage, mm -hmm. okay, uh, yes. because we won't say that again. What I supposed to say? Um, they they just throw the garbage. The garbage. Okay. Yeah. So instead of uh, that garbage, I would I would change mm -hmm. that to the garbage. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Um, the the other one here would be. Okay. Also, uh, they have caused damage in the earth. Okay, talking about the oil companies. Mm -hmm. Okay, how could we fix this here? They have also caused. Mm -hmm. Good. They have also caused uh, damage, and probably um, instead of saying in the earth, I would say to the earth. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So they have also caused. Okay. Damage, uh, damage to the earth. And anyway, that shouldn't be damaged. Okay, you said it correctly. I, I, I typed it in wrong. Okay, okay. I typed it in wrong. You said it right. <laughs> All right, very good. Okay, thank you. Let's go to Dennis. All right, Dennis, number eight is yours. Go ahead and uh, and read this, please. Do you do you agree or disagree with the, with the following statement? Telephones and email have made communication between people less personal. Use specific reasons and examples to support your opinion. Okay. All right. Fifteen seconds to prepare. Okay, ready? Mm -hmm. Go. Um, I disagree that telephones and email have made communication uh, less personal uh, because uh, uh, in the times where then there were not uh, telephones and emails, people uh, just couldn't speak to each other. For example, if you met a person uh, once, uh, it doesn't mean that uh, you can meet him for a second time because uh, you just don't know how to connect with him. And uh, now everything is possible and when you know something about persons, it's, it's pretty much easy to find him. So I don't think that uh, this means of communication made the, com the communication less personal. <laughs> Okay, good. Now, uh, some things that you are nailing thus far. Your introduction, okay, your introduction and your conclusion are pretty awesome, man. Mm -hmm. Okay, your, your timing as well. You're getting your timing down. You're starting to feel how long 45 seconds is, okay? That's really good, okay? Uh, now, in the middle, this is where we need to work on some grammar, okay? Your mm -hmm. pronunciation is pretty good. Okay. Um, uh, there are some things, slight things here and there, but if we uh, if we uh, work out the grammar, uh, I think that'll help you out tons. Okay. So, for example, uh, you said uh, that uh, that you could met him for a second time. So once you meet that person one time, uh, you said uh, you could met him. 
okay? Uh, instead of you could met him, it would be you could meet him, uh -huh. okay, for a second time, okay? So we would need to switch switch out met for meet, okay? Or uh, you would be able to meet him, okay, uh -huh. uh, for a second time, okay? In past in past tense, um, or when you're talking about, uh, uh, yeah. So here, um, so you said if uh, if you if you met someone before, okay, uh, you could m met them again, okay. Um, that wouldn't be how we would how we would say that. Okay, we would say if you met them once before, you would be able to meet them again. Okay, uh -huh. um, or something like that because it would be a a a, a possibility. Uh -huh. Okay, so talking about possibility instead of instead of using uh, you could met them. Okay, uh, and using that in uh, in the way of sharing possibility. Okay, I would also say would be able to. Okay. Um, uh, next one here. Uh, when you know something about persons, what is plural of person? Uh, don't know. Okay. Plural of persons is people. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. So when you know something about people, okay. Now, what you might want to say here is when you know something about a person, okay. Um, anything, uh, anything is possible. Okay, so basically your 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 two points here that you were sharing is that uh, it's it's brought us close together. Okay, and um, it's easier to get to know other people. Mm -hmm. Right. So yeah, watch uh, watch uh, watch some of these uh, these things when you're when you're uh, when you're talking, making sure that you're using the correct uh, verb tense. Okay, and then uh, and then things like uh, uh, persons instead of persons, it's people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay? okay, all right. But okay, you've improved greatly from when we started off. Okay, so your your answers are more focused. Okay, you have your intro, you have your conclusion, and everything in the middle is pointing towards what uh, what you originally said in your introduction. So I like that. I like that. Okay, so keep working hard. Um, keep uh, keep studying grammar, making sure that uh, um, you're you're uh, uh, you're using the correct verb tenses, uh, using using uh, the correct nouns and things like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Thanks, Chad. All right. Good. Good. Okay. Let's go to Sim. Yeah. All right, Sim. Your question is number nine. Go ahead and read this, please. Do you agree on this number nine? People, ha people have. Okay. Can you see this? Okay, Sim. Yeah. People have different ways of escaping the. Stress and difficulties of modern life. Some read, exercise, others work in their gardens. What do you think are the best ways of reducing stress? Okay. So, uh, 15 <laughs> seconds to prepare. Okay. Stress and Okay. Okay. I think uh, 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 stress and difficult uh, reducing. Uh, we have. I think reducing stress. We have to do yoga. We can. We can reduce stress uh, and uh, we. Uh, uh, we can. And uh, we can uh, the people. Okay, uh, let's uh, let's talk about this one here. Okay, because you're you're on the right track. All right. So, uh, but I want but I want to guide you just a little bit more. Okay. So. Okay. Uh, first off, 
Okay. Um, this is going to be an opinion, an opinion statement. All right. So, uh, so you want to start off by saying, uh, in my opinion, the best way to relieve to relieve stress is by doing yoga. Okay. So this is going this is going to be uh, pure and pure opinion. Okay. Uh, what you said was, I think we have to do yoga. Remember, in English, when you say have to, need to, okay, there is no way out. Okay. That means okay. that if I do not do that, I am in trouble. Okay. Okay. So a have to is very strong for us. Okay. I know in other languages it's not as much. Okay. Uh, but in English, it's pretty strong. Okay, so uh, we would say, in my opinion, okay, the best way. So notice how I'm taking. Okay, taking from here. Now you can name a couple of different ways. Okay, or you can name just one. Okay, here they ask you what are the best ways of reducing stress. You can come up and come up with uh, two or three if you want. Okay, one would be just fine, but you have to support the answer. Okay, so uh, the best way of reducing stress is by doing yoga. Now, what things, uh, give me two reasons why yoga helps you reduce stress. Okay, okay give, give me two reasons, Sim. Um, because, uh, give me two reasons. Uh, I, yes, I, I would. I would like for you to give me two reasons why you believe stress, or sorry, uh, yoga helps to reduce stress. Uh, give me. I'm so yeah, uh, just briefly, um, not not uh, not very long. So what what would be what would be one reason? Because uh, yoga. Uh, if, uh, when we do when we do yoga we feel relaxed okay and because and what we relax what makes you feel relaxed is it the breathing maybe because remember in yoga you do a lot of breathing exercises breathing exercises okay so uh, you want it's to be beneficial. specific okay you want to be specific when you're talking about these because if you just say uh, yoga uh, makes you feel relaxed. Well, how? Okay. Well, one way might be the breathing exercises. Another mm -hmm. way might be okay the different stretching, the stretching and the and the in the mm -hmm. physical exercise that you do, even though you're not running. Okay. Uh, you're, doing, you're doing some. You're some some. There are, there is physicality to yeah. uh, to yoga, and so okay, it's the endorphins. Okay, that that kind of. Uh, 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 spread throughout your body. They make you feel good, and that helps you feel relaxed as well. Okay. Yeah. So, so when you're talking about uh, something, you're giving your, your you uh, you state an answer. Make sure that you back it up and state specifics of why that is a it is a good thing or why it is a bad thing. Whatever the answer is. Okay. Mm -hmm. But here you want to defend your answer of saying why uh, people should do yoga. Okay, so okay. yeah, uh, a, um, when you're answering um, the question, okay, focus yourself on just uh, on whatever that that answer is. Okay. Okay. All Thank right. You. Uh huh. No problem. So we'll practice that next time around. Okay. All right, Zaki. Okay. Uh, some people say that computers have made life easier and more convenient. Other people say that computers have made uh, life more complex and stressful. What is your opinion? Use specific reason and example to support your answer. All right, Zaki. How you feeling today? Nice and relaxed? <laughs> I hope so. Okay. All right. So take uh, take a breath. Okay. Don't rush yourself. Okay. okay. Speak at a at a slower pattern or slower pace. Okay. okay. Focus on your pronunciation. That's going. That's what's going to help uh, help you. Okay. All right. So 15 seconds to prepare. Okay. Okay. All right. Ready? Okay. 
Go. In my opinion, uh, the, uh, the, com the, the computer have made life more complex and stressful uh, because the people are uh, more interested to sit uh, beside the uh, uh, in front of uh, uh, computer and uh, play, uh, play games and watch videos. Uh, this is for this is for uh, this is for them. It's very bad health for bad habit for them. They are uh, not doing exercise. Just they are sitting this, uh, in front of computer. So those are the reasons. That's why uh, those are the that's why the uh, the uh, people are more uh, computers are become more complex and stressful. Okay. All right. Very good. Very good. Okay. So let's uh, let's uh, let's take a look here. Okay. Now, uh, uh, thank you for following my my advice of looking for just one item until we can we can magnify. Okay. What to, what you're or amplify rather what to, what you're going to be saying. Okay. That was that was good. Okay. Um, and notice. Okay. We 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 were even at that. We were still over time by by about five seconds. Okay, so this will this will help you focusing only on one thing right now. Okay, until you until you can focus uh, focus your answer in, right? Okay. okay. <clears throat> now your introduction was pretty good. Okay, I do want to work on the pronunciation of the word complex. Complex. Okay. okay? Remember the X is a K S sound. Okay. Oh. X. Okay. So try that. Complex. Complex. Good. One more time. Complex. Complex. Good. Complex. Nice job. Okay. Um, uh, next thing here. Okay. Um, now here you said because the people. Okay. Now here we do not need the word the. Okay. okay. Um, okay. We're going to be talking about people in in general. Okay. okay. Instead of identifying a certain or specific group of people that are that are, you know, okay. doing something. Okay. So we would say um, uh, because people uh, tend to uh, sit down in front of their computers and play games or watch videos, right? And you know, it's not good. Maybe it affects their family. It affects their work. Okay. It affects their friends. Okay. Whatever it may be. Okay, but we go in and we explain what that is. Okay, but so instead of saying the people, because the people are just sitting in front of their computers, we just say because people are. Okay. People are. okay. Um, next thing here. Okay, uh, this uh, the, you sort of got uh, tripped up here. Okay, you said this is for them bad habit. Yeah. All right, how can we correct that? What would be the best way to say that? This is uh, for, uh, bad hobby, bad habit for them. Good. Now we need an article. We need an article in front of bad habit. Bad. A bad habit for them. Yes. Good. So this is a bad habit for them. This is a bad habit. This is a bad habit for them. Okay. Now. For them, good job with the the uh, the R on this time. When you were saying it, when you were speaking, you were rolling your R, saying for them. Okay, so let's try that one more time. This is a bad habit for them. This is a bad habit for them. Good. One more time. This is a bad this, habit for them. This is a bad habit for them. Okay. Good. Okay. Uh, next up, we have. Okay. Okay. This is pr pronunciation. Okay. okay. Uh, they are just sitting in front of computer. Okay. Or uh, pronunciation and grammar. Okay. So um, we need something in front of computer. A computer. Uh, you can say they're just sitting in front of a computer. Okay, that would be fine. You can also use a possessive pronoun, saying sitting in front of their computer. You can say yeah. of a computer yeah. or their computer, and that either would be uh, be just fine. Okay, so let's uh, let's try this here. 
Okay, and I want you to focus on the uh, the pronunciation. They are just sitting in front of a computer. Okay, try that. They are just sitting in front of a computer. Good. Much better with the R on front and computer. Let's watch the R on. They are just. Okay. So one more time. They are just sitting in front of the com uh, sitting in front of a computer. They are just sitting in front of a computer. Okay. All right. We're getting closer. Okay. Nice job. Okay. So again, your structure is pretty good. Let's see if we can get it uh, finished un in under a minute, though. Okay. Okay. All right. Nice job. Thank you. Thank you, sir. No problem. Let's go to Amparo. All right. Amparo, number 11. Excuse me. Number 11, please. Okay. Um, some people think that the automobile has improved modern life. Other think that the uh, automobile has caused uh, serious problems. What is your opinion? Use silly reasons and examples to support your answer. All right. Very good. 15 seconds to prepare. Oops. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, I think the automobile has caused a serious problem. Uh, they they have caused damages in the environment because of the combustible that they use. Um, furthermore, because of the the noise that engine and the horn produce. Uh, combustibles are derived uh, from oil, and it has been the, the cause of many uh, conflicts among the countries that produce the the the, the oil. Uh, that is why I think uh, the automobiles have produced more uh, problems than uh, benefits. All right, nice job, nice job. Yeah, so you had you had uh, um, uh, some really good state uh, reasons in there. Okay, um, nice job with your introduction and with your conclusion. Okay, and you ended on time. Okay, uh, your pronunciation was pretty good. Uh, we were lacking some s's. In, in a couple of places, okay? okay? So, for example, um, uh, the first one is, uh, has caused serious problem. Problems. Yeah, problems. We want to add that S there. Okay. Okay, has caused serious problems, okay? Uh, but your pronunciation of caused, okay, was good. Your, uh, your vowel sounds are really good. Okay. This next one was really good. It has a word that I know you've been working on, and I and I and you focused on it when you said the word. Okay. Um, it's the word engine. Okay. Yeah. You pronounced it correctly. <laughs> but since we are talking about, um, so you you pluralized horns. Okay. Okay, but not engines. So you do okay. want to pluralize that as well. The noise that engines and horns produce. Okay, the noise that engines and the horn produce. Okay, good, good. Okay, so uh, that was uh, that was all I heard uh, uh, this this time through, and I was trying to trying to grab grab some other things, but it was it was pretty pretty good. Okay, okay. it was pretty good. Okay, nice job. Thank you. Nice job. Nice concise answer. Uh, great. Let's go to Dennis. All right, Dennis. Yours is number twelve. Mm -hmm. Some <clears throat> some people say that the internet provides people with a lot of valuable information. Others think access to so much information creates problems. Which view do you agree with? Use specific reasons and examples to support your opinion. Okay. Fifteen seconds. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ready? Yeah. Go. Um, I don't think that 
access to um, big amount of information creates problems because as we all know the information is power you just need to uh, use that power right uh, so I think that uh, people uh, should uh, should uh, study and learn everything in the internet with, uh, in a smart way in order to use the information they are getting uh, in the right way and uh, in order to uh, understand it right and I think that uh, this smart way uh, won't cause much problems and uh, the access to big amount of information is good. Okay. Give me one second. Okay. All right, nice job, nice job. Okay, so taking a look here at, at our question, you started off, you started off well with a good introduction. Okay, um, I, uh, uh, I, I think. That uh, that uh, having uh, having access to a large amount of information, uh, the one thing that I would change there is instead of using the word big, big information, I would use a large amount. Uh -huh. Okay, uh, a large amount of, of information. Okay, instead of uh, big information. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, next one. Here, give me one second. Okay, uh, next one is okay. The pronunciation of the word everything. Let's try that. Everything. Mm -hmm. Give me a good th. Everything. There everything. you go. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay, so let's uh, let's try this. In we're gonna try this in just one second. Now another phrase that you said was uh, learn everything on the internet in a right way. Okay, so instead of saying in a right way, I would say correctly. Mm -hmm. correctly. Okay, and I would say correctly. So uh, let's switch this out. Okay, so learn everything on the internet correctly. Okay, so yeah, try that. Try that sentence there. I put it in the chat box. Okay, mm -hmm. focusing on the pronunciation of the word uh, everything and using correctly there. Okay, go ahead. Learn everything. Learn everything on the internet correctly. There you go. Good. Good. Nice pronunciation. Um, next one is uh, the pronunciation of the word should. Okay, so instead of saying shoo, should, okay, it's uh, should. Mm -hmm. Try that. Should. There you go. That's it. Okay, good. Now, uh, this this time around, Dennis, your your um, uh, your structure was was pretty good. We were over on time, I think, by just a little bit. Let me check the clock one more one second. I guess it was. Yeah, just just a little bit. Okay, um, your your conclusion was a little off. You added you added some extra things in there that you may not may not have needed to add. Okay, uh -huh. uh, which which place you over time uh, but um, uh, yeah your grammar this time through was much better okay much better we didn't have as as many as many issues okay so watch your watch your time um, keep focusing on your your pronunciations much better job with your uh, uh, with your grammar and then uh, make sure to have a, a, a good conclusion uh, at, in the end okay mm -hmm. okay all right excellent nice job Dennis thanks Okay. Next one here. This is for Sim, I believe. Sim, are you there? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Team number 13, please. Do you agree or disagree with the following statement? Modern technology is creating a single world culture. Use specific reasons and examples to support your opinion. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Fifteen seconds to prepare. Okay. 
Ready? In my opinion, uh, technology makes uh, various things possible where uh, those were impossible ones. Wow! Technology, I agree with this statement. Wow! Technology creating new single wow. world culture. Um, okay, and why? Why do you agree with it? Because it, um, Okay, all right. Now, you started off, you started off really well. Okay. Okay, you started off really well. Do you agree or disagree with the following statement? Modern technology is creating a single world uh, uh, culture, okay, and you would say, uh, I agree. You had said, I agree, okay, I, that modern technology is creating a single world culture, okay. Your introduction was pretty good, but now you have to explain why, okay. Now, give me one reason, one reason why you believe that uh, uh, modern technology is, is creating a single world culture. What do you think? One. Yeah. What What is a reason why you why you would believe that? Because technology is. A, what uh, What is What happens with places like uh, with Facebook, for example? Okay, um, I can be I can be living in Costa Rica, yet I can have a friend all the way on the other side of the world in Russia. Okay, and okay. and we can we can communicate that way whenever we want. Okay. okay? And so the it, it pulls we us talk together. together on Facebook. Mm hmm. Yeah. So Facebook in itself that's its own culture. Okay, Twitter as well is its own culture. Okay. Okay, so these these are a couple ways um, where that that prove that modern technology is creating a single world culture. Okay, so we, when we talk we, about we things. Non English, non verbling. Uh huh. Technology. Exactly. Okay, so it's a it's a. Uh, it's a one world, a single world culture. It doesn't matter where we're from, okay, or anything like that. Anybody can can jump in. All right, okay. So it's a single world culture. Okay. So make sure that when you are answering your question, that you have at least one one main reason. Okay. I suggest two, at least two. But it, when you're just starting out, okay, uh, I would come up with at least one. Okay, wherein you can uh, um, successfully uh, explain why, Se successfully explain why you you uh, said what you did. Okay. Okay. All right. Very good. Very good. Okay. Let's go to. Uh, let's see here, Zaki. Okay. Uh, okay. Is, uh, is the ability to read and write more important today than in the past? Why or why not? Use specific reasons and examples to support your answer. Okay, good. 15 seconds to prepare. Okay. Ready? Uh, okay. In my opinion, uh, 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 in my opinion, is the ability to read and write more important than in past. Uh, past. But uh, nowadays we can read and write today because uh, we have lot of uh, methods to follow to to learn uh, to learn uh, to learn uh, what you want. Uh, just like if you want to learn English, you can find lot of videos uh, on YouTube. As well as you can join on verbling, then you can learn very easily. 
so in the past we don't have this type of technology so uh, in a, it's very difficult to learn what you want so those are the reason that's why i believe that uh, today is the ability to learn and write what you want okay all right all right so uh, let's take a look here and let's make sure that we are answering um, answering the question uh, the best way the best way possible okay uh, so our question here is why uh, why or why not okay and they're asking about um, the ability to read and write and write okay so uh, you you talked about videos and, and things like that but videos and whatnot do those help us Okay, um, make money or provide for our family. Okay, no, and so I think what they're getting at here is mainly, mainly with with life. Okay, the, yes, those things uh, those things are fun, they're enjoyable. Okay, but we don't we don't uh, use them to take care care of ourselves. So, for example, when my grandfather, uh, when my grand grandpa grew up. Um, it wasn't really all that important for him to learn how to read and write because he grew up on a farm okay he grew up on a farm and uh, that's I mean they grew crops they had animals all right um, eventually he did all right he, eventually he did but it wasn't uh, it wasn't the biggest uh, or most important thing uh, in their in their life nowadays Okay, a uh, reading and write, writing is really important. Okay, especially because of of uh, being on the on the computer and things like that. If you don't know how to read, you won't be able to manage uh, manage on a computer. Okay, you won't know where to go or what to do. Okay, you won't be able to follow instructions. Right. So so yeah, make sure that uh, when you are. Um, when you're answering the question here, that you're you're answering it to you're answering the correct question. Okay. Um, let's uh, let's practice a, a, a couple words here for pronunciation. Okay. Um, first up here we have the words very easily, very easily. Try those. Very easily. Good. Very One more time. Easy. Very easy. Good, good. There you go. Okay, much better with the R here. I want to practice the word this. Okay, we want to use short I sound instead of the, these. Okay, it is the, this. This. Good. One this. more time. There you go. That's it. Okay. Now, in the end, okay, in the end here, and also with your introduction, it sounded like you repeated yourself a couple times with both your introduction as well as your conclusion okay uh, uh, in this type of question how can I use uh, as an introduction okay um, all right so our question is is the ability to read and write more common uh, more important today than in the past why or why not well first off what kind of a question is this are the, is this a compare and contrast advantage disadvantage opinion Agree uh, or disagree? Opinion. It is opinion. So what kind of phrases can we start this off with? In my opinion, I believe, I think. Yes, exactly. So I believe it's more important uh, to learn how to read and write today than it was in the past. Okay. So yeah, uh, make sure that you recognize what kind of question this is uh, okay. from uh, you know right off the bat. Okay. All right. So yeah, be, because it's an opinion question. So then your conclusion would then be: so those are the reasons why I believe. Okay, reading and writing is more important today than it was in the past. Okay. Yeah, and so I sort of sense that just a little bit. You you weren't quite sure how to introduce it or how to end it. Okay. All right. So. Uh, good work. Keep working hard. We'll get it. Okay. Every once in a while, we'll get one that's uh, that's more challenging than the others. Okay. All right. Okay. Good. Thank you. Uh, let's go to Amparo. Yep. Amparo number fifteen. 
me. Yeah. All right. Go ahead and read that, please. In the 20th century saw so great change in your opinion. What is one change that should be remembered about the 20th century? Use specific reasons and details to explain your choice. Okay. 15 seconds. Here we go. There we go. Okay. Ready? Mm, okay. Go. Uh, one of the changes that should be remembered about the 20th century is the use of internet. Internet have made it possible to access to a wide variety of information in, in just a few seconds. Uh, internet has allowed uh, people to feel close through the video calls and have permitted people to learn more about places and people living in another cultures. Uh, that is uh, why I think the internet should be uh, one thing to remember from 20th century. Okay, very good, very good. Okay, uh, nice, nice job there. Okay, I know uh, we had issues in the past of when we would say one of the Okay, we, we would need to pluralize whatever it's one of, right? So mm -hmm. one of the things, okay, good, good job. Or yeah, it was changes, one of the changes, okay, good. Um, uh, nice structure, okay, good, uh, good supporting statements, okay, uh, nice conclusion as well. Uh, you kind of struggled a little bit through that, but it wasn't, it wasn't bad. You found the right words in, in the end, okay. All right, one thing though that I want to recommend mm -hmm. is uh, that uh, the internet, okay? When we're talking about it in this sense, it is going to be an invention. Okay. okay? So we would need to say the. the. Oh, okay. Okay, so is the use of the internet, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, using the internet, they're able to do this, okay? Mm -hmm. So we would definitely uh, use the article the, okay? okay. Uh, let's practice the pronunciation of the word variable. Or what? Was it variable? Variety. variety. Why did I write down variable? <laughs> variety. Yeah, variety. Okay, it's a. It, anyway, it's the V at the very beginning. <laughs> variety. Try that. Variety. There you go. Okay. Now, um, uh, the the other thing that you said is um, you did use the uh, definite article with uh, video calls, saying through the video calls. Okay. Mm -hmm. I would not use the the article there. Okay, we could just say we've been able to, oh. yeah, remain close uh, through video calls or okay. through the use of video calls. Something like that would be fine. Oh, yeah. okay. okay, instead of through the video calls. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, uh, other than that, everything else is pretty good. Okay. Okay, nice job. Nice Thank job. You. Thank you. Okay, let's see if we can squeeze one more in, you guys. Uh, I think we can. Dennis, uh, number 16, please. Every generation of people is different in important ways. How is your generation different from your parents' generation? Use specific reasons and examples to explain your answer. Your answer. Okay, very good. 15 seconds. Okay. Ready? Mm -hmm. Yep. Go. Um, I agree that every generation is different, uh, and uh, my generation is different uh, from my parents' generation because um, a lot of changes uh, happened in my country, and my people uh, lived uh, in a country which was closed to the world and they didn't see 
anything but only their own country and now the whole world is open to my generation and we have lots of opportunities but uh, we have uh, lots of problems connected with uh, with different uh, um, uh, so uh, I think that uh, my generation is very different from my parents generation okay all right good good okay so uh, let's let's take a look here so your your introduction was uh, was pretty good okay you mm -hmm. said that you agreed with it and then uh, the, that uh, then you went in and, and described uh, that uh, what the differences are between between your generation okay main thing that I got uh, was that uh, uh, your your country was closed Okay, you know, because of communism and whatnot mm -hmm. before, and no one was going going there. But now, look where we're at. We're holding the Winter Olympics there in in Russia, right? Uh, which is which is pretty amazing. Okay, um, now um, uh, we were over time by just a little bit. Okay, um, so yeah, I, I, again, watch that. Okay, but I do want to mm -hmm. I want to look at uh, pronunciations. Okay, so first up. We have the word different. Okay, let's use a short I sound instead of mm -hmm. D. Different. It's different. Different. Good, good. Now, on changes, make sure to add that S there at the end. Changes. Mm -hmm. Changes. Good, good. And the last one there is the word close. Now, when you were saying that uh, the, your country was close, it sounded like you said close. Mm. Okay, close to everyone. So we want to use a voiced S closed and add that D there closed mm -hmm. try that closed. closed that's it that's it good good nice job okay uh, now this time this time around your grammar was uh, was better than your your very first time uh, here today um, yeah mm -hmm. so much uh, much better um, with your improvement on your grammar okay uh, let's keep uh, working on uh, on pronunciation as well as um, as uh, making sure that you're ending on time okay okay awesome all right you guys well uh, thank you for for coming to class it was great having you here I'm gonna take a break uh, for about eight hours and then I have one reading class tonight okay all right guys thank you we'll see ya bye, bye guys. Thank you.